So, as you see, my name is Ali Zari. My little badge here says Sara Lee, so that's me today. You can turn down the sound a little bit, thanks. Just a couple of notches so we just have it in the background. Uh, so, a year and a half ago, I was invited to design a 360 camera system for a spacesuit. Um, the purpose of this was to uh, join uh, Horizon 2020 project, uh, an EU project, with about six different countries involved. Some designing the spacesuit, some designing the hardware on the spacesuit. And uh, this was from a pool test in Marseille. In February, right after we had VR Oslo at the Science Park, and when we, when we get, got down to Marseille, we figured out that uh, just shooting this in POV was not going to solve uh, what we were out to do. Uh, just having the cameras on a tripod also was going to uh, show us the environment that the astronauts actually train in in a completely different way. Uh, this had never been done before. I had never been shooting uh, 360 underwater either, so it was uh, pretty tricky. Uh, on the far right side, you see the French TV doing it uh, standard-wise, putting a stick in it. Uh, and they were actually asking me for the footage, but uh, no chance. Uh, not going to help that. Um, we ended up shooting an hour straight uh, in that pool. And what was amazing, was to see these divers actually staying in the water for that duration of time. Uh, they had not done any of this before. One of them had done some photogrammetry uh, diving earlier, but uh, no 360 content. So the trick was to just try stuff out. So we started as close as possible to, uh, to the wall and then just moving step by step towards what they used as a platform, as a lander. And here we can see the astronaut doing the Macarena. Nobody on top of water here was aware of that, so that was a bonus to find out. Um, so people here from NASA, from European Space Agency were there, uh, French TV, and uh, the CEO of uh, Comex, who designed the suit, uh, after the divers came out, he saw them, they were shaking, because they, yeah, they were so cold. And he said, I don't think we're gonna have the energy to do a night shoot. And uh, the main diver said, I've actually gone out and bought a lamp just for this. So that's the one at the other end, which uh, quite spectacularly lit up this pool that we saw uh, them working in. What we see to uh, our left here uh, under the banner is a rover designed by DFKI in Bremen, University Technological University. Uh, the whole purpose of the simulation here, the moon simulation, and later on in Spain, the Mars simulation was an interaction uh, between uh, the astronaut and the rover, and not by uh, traditional ways of controlling the ro rover, but by gestures. So uh, I think this is going to develop into just thinking using e uh, EEG equipment in the future. Uh, and then combining what the astronaut sees, what we see, and what he sees through camera systems and then these EEG sensors on his brain that is uh, picking up what he's actually feeling and reacting to when he's seeing this thing. From that, we went over to POV. I spent about four hours looking at the suit because I wasn't able to place the cameras anywhere. Everywhere I put was some uh, other equipment. There. <laughs> so finally I said, are we going to have cameras on the suit or not? What's going on? So they said, okay, just do what you want to do. And we ended up taping the damn thing. So duct taping was uh, high tech right there and then, effective. And uh, this always uh, brings a smile to my face because people, when I started off designing head rigs, people were tell telling me about parallax. And uh, there's uh, almost 50 centimeters between those cameras. And the parallax is immense. And we still got to shoot a full 360 using only three cameras uh, on the suit, which we will be switching over to uh, once they get the suit into the water. Um, the result of this ended up on the table of Norwegian Space Center, and the European Space Agency already uh, at the site showed great interest, so we provided uh, footage to them, and uh, they have urged us to apply 
for a budget to design the future of camera systems for space travel. So that's what we're going to be doing the 10 years to come. And uh, in the future, when uh, we'll be observing the travels further into our solar system, we will be able to sit here on Earth and view this through our goggles and glasses and whatever other devices that will be made available for us to join this journey and uh, finally uh, have an experience as an astronaut. So I dubbed this uh, be, an, be a VR astronaut. That's the project's name. And we've got some great help doing this. Uh, Keith Medellini is not in the house, but uh, from Indigo Lemon is doing some of the graphics and uh, some of the animations, just logos and stuff here. And uh, yeah, I think this was a very uh, interesting project to join in. And it was quite good. Thanks. Questions. We have a few few minutes for questions. <laughs> <laughs>